Did you know that there are six phases of a relationship that every couple has to go through? Phase one is very well known honeymoon phase. And most of the people claim that this is the best phase in a relationship. In the first phase, sparks between you and your partner are flying everywhere. You and your partner don't know each other yet, but you're fully invested in this relationship. You sacrifice your free time, you invest yourself emotionally too. This is the prettiest, but one of the hardest phases in your relationship. In this phase, you and your partner are still getting to know each other. You idolize them and think that you have found the one. Usually, that is not the case. But that is the magic of the phase one. When you two are in a happy and healthy relationship, you slowly enter the phase two. Either you or your partner will enter the phase two first, while the other one is still stuck in the phase one. It is very rare for couples to enter the phase two in the exactly the same time. Now, one person suddenly wants to spend more of their free time on hobbies, work, friends, family, while the other one still wants to spend all of the free time with the partner. But suddenly, their partner is not spending as much time with them as before. If this happens to you, remember that this doesn't mean that your partner doesn't like you anymore. It can just mean that they are very happy with how the things are between you two right now. The partner that is still stuck in the phase one is always talking about the other one not having time for them. This partner can put a lot of pressure on the partner in phase two and that can lead to a breakup. When you two have both finally settled in the phase two, phase three is right around the corner. Phase three is called the phase of little arguments. Now, you see every aspect of your partner, every flaw and every good thing. In this phase, you and your partner are seeing the other person's true colors. The things that used to not bother you now do bother you and you start to notice little things that are annoying even though they weren't annoying until now. Usually in this phase people point out what bothers them and if you are in a healthy relationship your partner changes those small things that can be changed of course. But still, they might not be as perfect as you imagined. These differences between your expectation and reality can lead to small arguments. That's why the phase 3 is called the phase of little arguments. After this phase, you get into the phase 4. Phase 4 is the phase of adjusting. You've seen every aspect of each other and now you're trying to adjust to the new things that you have learned about your partner. You're not trying to change your partner anymore. The little things that were annoying are now part of an everyday life and they're not annoying anymore. In this phase, you learn how to tolerate those differences. Now, you have decided to accept your partner the way they are. We can also say that this phase is the phase in which you decide to either accept your partner the way they are or to break up with them. Not all of the couples go into phase 5, but most of them do. And it is really important to know 
that this phase is one of the biggest challenges that you two will ever meet. Phase 5 is called the crisis phase. In this phase, usually partners separate emotionally or physically. One of them maybe moves out, they distance from each other, and most people are craving to feel things similar to the phase one. That's why people in this phase tend to find affairs, because that is the only thing that can make them feel butterflies similar to the ones in phase one. The breakups and divorces are the most common in phase five. If you and your partner go through this, you will enter phase six. Now, both of you have a lot of negative feelings related to phase five. You remember the bad times and you don't want to relive that again. So you and your partner are putting in the work, attention and everything that you've lacked in previous phases. You and your partner are now back in phase one, or at least something very similar to phase one. You feel the smidge of honeymoon phase again, but that doesn't last as much as the actual phase one. Remember, if you are currently in a relationship, that doesn't mean that you and your partner will go through all of these phases. Just keep working on your relationship, communicate and put in the effort. If you liked this video, please leave a like and comment what topics would you like to see next. See you in the next one!